I told you not to follow up your Butterfinger with a pack of toast, G. I once drank out of a gasoline pump! We're out of suspects, and no one disguises himself as a priest unless they're up to something. It's gotta be the priest. Did you know I can put on my jacket in only two and a half seconds? No kidding, did it just now. Captain, we can't rule out that the murderer is on your crew. I want you to tell me about him. I want their backgrounds and personal history. In English or Icelandic? English, please. Good, because I don't know Icelandic. Tell me about your co-pilot. Fred Connors came over from Valuejet six years ago. He quit when they made him stop wearing halter tops. And your navigator? Smells like beef jerky and sometimes eats gauges when no one's looking. Either of them ever killed anybody? Not on purpose. What about the head stewardess? Jill? She's like the spring. Her eyes are like amber and her skin is like a rose petal. She's perfect in every way. Body, mind, and soul. Woo! It's getting hot in here! Tell me about the other stewardess. Vera, I think her name is. She might be a man disguised as a woman. Yes, I did catch her whittling on break. She's good at grilling ribeyes, too. I like to play with my glasses when I'm interrogating someone contemplatively. Tell me about yourself. Do you believe in soulmates, Myerson? No. I think when you found your soulmate, you should do whatever it takes to be with them, even if it takes longer than you'd like. It would be worth the wait. I just want everyone to survive this flight so they all have a chance to find that soulmate. I had a soulmate once. It was when I was a beat cop. We met standing in the walk-up line at Checkers. We both ordered big Bufords and we stood there for an hour talking and wolfing down burgers. I remember at one point I whipped out my ninth stick and showed her the best way to beat the bejeebers out of junkies. She just thought that was the greatest thing she'd ever seen. That sounds more beautiful than a pinball machine. It was. But then she walked away and immediately fell into an open manhole and died. <clears throat> End of fairy tale. You've probably never had a big Buford since. Just twice. Hey, Captain, you're wanted on the radio, and I accidentally spilled my milkshake. I leave for two minutes, and it's anarchy up here. It's fine now. I cleaned it up. This is Captain Durst. Durst, this is Davenport. We've got a make on that priest. Let me have it. He's actually a small-time hood wanted for vandalizing the entire southeast with Andre the Giant stickers. Sounds like our man. Three more things. One, someone spilled a milkshake on your console and ate your altimeter gauge. Two, Bill keeps staring at me and it's giving me the creeps. And three, arrest that priest! It wasn't that much milkshake. I bet anything that fake priest stole my honey bun I was saving. It's not here, I knew it. <laughs> a minute ago, there was a honey bun on that armrest. Do you know where it is? No, I haven't seen it. I'm gonna go look for it. You stay here in case it comes back. Should I check on the captain? No, you just stay right here. Hey, I'm in here. There's no sign of the honey bun anywhere. Was it an iced honey bun or just glazed? It was iced. Ooh. Maybe it's back in the tourist section. That's a dumb idea, but it's all I've got right now. You go back there and check it out, but act casual. And if you see it, don't touch it. Just come and get me, you got it? I'll manage. Hurry up. Excuse me, is that a honey bun on your foot? No, it's a honey bunion. There's nothing back there. A honey bun doesn't just disappear. It does if somebody just eats it. I did see a Swiss roll on a couple of zebra cakes. Could you stop thinking? I'm going upstairs to check it out.
Should have had that honey bun instead of popcorn. No sign of the priest or my honey bun. Why are you relying on your eyesight? Trust your feelings. Use the force, Myerson. You're right. I'll check again. Oh, I dropped my queso deal! Still no sign of the priest or my honey bun? No, but zebra cakes are the captain's favorites. He's always saying that if he ever has children, All right, he shut up. Them... Wait a minute. I felt a disturbance in the fourth. What is this thing? I used to warm the captain's hot chocolate in it. Now it's just used to store dead bodies. Let's just check it out. And then Frank O'Harris picked that ball right out of the air and runs in for a touchdown. Excuse me. Ugh. Come with me. Where do you see this? This is wicked. Never mind that. Check this out. Feast your eyes on this. Summer breeze makes me fit. Whoa! Is he gonna be all right? Thanks, Doc. Any advice? I'm not drinking hot chocolate out of that thing again. Tell you that. This is Officer Daniel Myerson. Is this going to delay our flight? I want a partial refund. Can we get our meals comp? What's a pickle? Here's the deal. Someone from first class left a message at the airport. They said there would be a few murders on this flight. That man who was killed was not a priest, but a known criminal. His death may have been what that message was all about. If so, no one has anything to worry about. No one except for the other people he's going to kill. We ask that everyone remain seated and calm until we land in England. Until then, Mr. Myerson and I will regale you with a few duets. Got a song in mind, Myerson? I was thinking of the theme to the Brady Bunch. Here's a story of a lovely lady who was bringing up three very lovely girls. Okay, fine. Do any of you have a better song? How about some fire call? You, you are, are the woman that I've always dreamed of. I knew it from the start. I saw your face and that's the last I've seen of my heart.